Hi friends, welcome to Monday's lesson. Friends, last week in reading, we read a book called The Invisible Boy, and I really loved it, and I hope that you really loved it too. Last week, we became experts at identifying the key details in the story to learn more about Brian. That book is called Realistic Fiction. It's a realistic fiction text. And you guys know that realistic fiction stories are stories that are made up, but that sound and feel and look realistic. That means a story like Brian's story, even though it's made up, it could really happen. There could really be a boy like Brian feeling invisible in the world. And there could be a boy like Justin who makes all the difference by helping him. This week, we will read another story. And if you look to the left of your screen, you'll see the book that we'll be reading. It's called Ricky the Rock That Couldn't Roll. This book is also fiction. It's not realistic fiction, but it's fiction. That means it's made up. It's not real. It came out of the author's imagination. However, the lesson that this story teaches us is very real and it's a very important lesson. Now there was a lesson in The Invisible Boy as well. There is a central message or a lesson in this book, a lesson that we can take from the story and use in our own lives. Now because this book is fictional, it has certain characteristics that all fiction stories share. It's very different from the books that we've been reading in science. And you know, those books are all nonfiction books. This book is fiction because, firstly, it has characters. Now, the characters in this story happen to be rocks. And there's also a ladybug. But you have to think of these characters as human-like. That means they, you have to, to look at them as if they were people because they do behave just like us. They have thoughts just like we do, they have feelings, they have problems that they solve just like we do. All right, friends, this story also has a setting. It takes place by a lake over a hill. Because it's fictional, it also has a plot. There are events that take place. There is a problem and a solution. And as I said, this book also has a central message. That means it teaches us, the reader, an important lesson. As we read this week, I also want you to keep paying attention to the key details of the story. Now, friends, a story can have a lot of details, right? The key details are the most important. And we look for them in the words and the illustrations. So, illustrations. So, as you listen to the story today, I want you to pay close attention to what the characters say, what they do, what they think, what they feel, what problem do they have, and how do they solve the problem. And as you get closer to the end of the story, I want you to think about the lesson that this story teaches you. All right, friends? Enjoy the story. Now, there is an assignment for today. In fact, when you go to the next slide, you will see what your assignment is for today. I'll see you guys later. This is your assignment for today, friends. You have to answer this question. Is Ricky the Rock that couldn't roll a fiction or a nonfiction text? How do you know?